kind of want to start vlogging again. This is 2024. Hi, good morning. Such a random intro, but I just want to start vlogging. I didn't want to do just a makeup tutorial. I don't want to do just a golf vlog, but I want to do an update on how 2024 has been. I hope that yours has been very lovely and great. And I just want to show you on mine. So it is a Saturday and I'm just going to do some glam. I have no makeup on right now, no manicure. I woke up this morning, I did 12, 3, 30 and now i'm going to get glam <laughs> good morning my face is on sebastian and i are just here and i'm ready for the day i'm going out unfortunately not to the golf course but i just wanted to vlog should i put this camera the other way is that better so yeah i'm just using my vlog camera instead of the canon because it's just lighter. I love the feeling and the vibes in January. It feels so new and fresh and I'm optimistic every January. I have my bullet journal that I've been filling out and I just have all these goals for the year and I get excited about plans and upcoming things like that. So I am going on a golf trip soon. I currently weigh 157 which is low for me in comparison to past five years. I've been in the low 150s pretty consistently and my lowest was 146 and I loved it but it did take a lot of work and like my whole day was just running around and being really busy so I wasn't dieting I just didn't have as much time to eat. When you're bored you eat you know. So I'm at 157 right now. I want to see how much weight I can lose in a week because I've got plans. I'm not trying to improve because there's anything wrong. I just think that you should always grow. You should always improve and if you're not improving and growing then you're stagnant and that doesn't sound fun for me. I'm going to try to keep up with the treadmill. I'm going to try to watch what I eat, portion control, and just stay busy because I want to be less weight than this in a week. Here's my home decor by the way. I have a new couch and accent chairs on the side. Sebastian likes the chairs. And yes, pink and white is my thing now. And this is my putting practice. And then those are, those don't stay up there. That's for chipping. Cute, right? It's definitely different than it was before. I think it looks cleaner and bigger. I love the pink and green. I just need something on this wall and I'm going to take those bags down and do something else. Just wanted an update on that. New year, new furniture. I don't know if you can tell, but my TV has old school Paige Sporanic videos. I just think that her tutorials are some of the best. Golf Sidekick is my favorite on YouTube for getting better. I like watching Paige Sporanic sometimes too, though her old her old videos, just the vlogs, are fun to watch. When I was just about to break 100, I feel like I was so bad that I was happy with any shot that just went forward. And now I'm able to make the ball go forward. And then just with that one skill set that I finally acquired, now I'm way too greedy and I don't get as happy as I should when I get good shots because I've just been watching so many scratch golfers, so many tournaments and all that. And it's just, I've given myself such unrealistic expectations. When I see people driving the ball 240 and my ball goes 160, 170, I try to smash it and then it ends up going 130. I literally was at a point where I couldn't even drive more than 120. So I need to relax and just swing smooth. I would like to be practicing more, but last time I went out was, oh my goodness. It's, this is the longest stretch I think I've had not golfing. It's been just over a week. And last time I went out, the ground was so muddy. It was 30 degrees, it's, it's 10 degrees today. It's just not fun to go out like that. I think that people in the golf world need to get better at enjoying and celebrating where you're at currently. I feel like I can't get on a green in regulation. I can't, and when I finally get on a green, instead of being like, oh, good thing I got on the green, it's like, oh, why wasn't I closer to the hole? Or when you get on the green and you're so close to the hole, instead of celebrating and saying, wow, I left myself one putt for my up and down, it's like, Oh, why didn't that go in for birdie? Like a chip in? Come on, that's so unrealistic. I'm a 25 handicap, so I just need to get better at that. I think that I'll keep golf on my Instagram and just have like the play a hole with me stuff there. 
golf vlogs are really difficult on YouTube. I think I get so stressed out trying to film long form golf content. So I think on here, I'll just do my vlogs. I'll show you my home decor. I'll show you my outfits and my makeup. I think that's more what YouTube will be for, but I have a trip planned that, oh, there's an ad. I have a trip planned that I will definitely bring you along on, and I think that will be more fun for YouTube because I do want to vlog more often. I know you can hear the dishwasher, but I cannot get over this version of this song that I found on Instagram. She's beautiful, she looks kind. She probably gives you butterflies. It's been a minute, so here is the glam room as of late. I don't know if it looks different. I don't remember what it looked like last time I showed it. But this is the glam room. Also, I've been loving this jacket and I wanna love it while I can because I know that light pink gets dingy really quick. So it just kind of reminds me of high school, but not like I'm trying to look like a high schooler, but like, someone who went to high school in the early 2000s. I really don't want it to look like I'm holding on to my youth. I love being 33 and I love growing up when I did. Is this fun at all? Like, do you feel like we're friends? Does this feel like hanging out? Because I think this is what the girlies do. Hi and good morning. So it is the next day and I was gonna film like as soon as I woke up, but we're pretty productive in the mornings here in the Fox Den. Sebastian and I have already accomplished quite a bit. I woke up at about 4.30, did my pedicure, my manicure. So it's just, it's like four coats of Alpine Snow and then a little bit of It's a Girl, both OPI gel colors. Did 12.3.30 3.30 on the treadmill. And then I put my makeup on and I wanna go to the driving range. So yeah, it's definitely not first thing in the morning. It's almost 10 a.m. now. I wake up at 4.30, um, early birds catch worms. Yeah, it's 20 degrees. So I don't want to go to the golf course. I want to go to the driving range because I want to work on my swing. Have you ever been to a driving range that has a heater? It gets really hot. So you want to wear things that you can layer that will still be comfortable as layers come off or go on. You know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out what to wear. And um, man, my laundry is all done. Like I did my laundry yesterday and I had nothing dirty until now because when I woke up, I put my pajamas in the hamper and then I did 12, 3, 30 and then that was in the hamper and then I just put on this in case I wanted to wear it to the range. So the hamper fills up pretty fast. I'm so glad I got to show you my cute living room. I think it looks so good in here. I'm just really excited about my color combo because I think it's so soft and feminine and I don't know why I shied from it before. Like my camera case is literally pink. My manicure, I have pink on it. Like my phone is pink. I just like, I feel like the most like me that I've ever felt. This blanket is pink embarrassing. I don't know. Like. It seems that girls don't want to own when they like pink. Fashion-wise, my skin tone looks better if I wear forest green. So I like green as well. And I don't look as good in pink. So for clothing, I don't have pink as much unless it's like an accessory or a statement piece. But clothing-wise, I like to wear black and gray and white. Riveting conversation, guys. Can your brain even comprehend the depth that we reach on this channel? I'm not hungry. I'm ready to go. I just need to watch a swing video. Maybe I'll watch a golf vlog or something. Brian Bros are on right now. And then I'll be at the range. I want I want to film a range session because on virtual golf, I don't know if I still have my scores. I'll show you my scores on virtual golf because they're pretty impressive. And granted, once you get within 30 yards of the hole, it's not like you do chips or putting or anything like that. You just have to hit to a certain flag. On November 4, I got a 39 at PGA National Championship course. I got a 38 at Kiowa. Island, ocean course, and a 40, same course. I'm trying to score on the 30s on virtual golf just because 
short game doesn't come into play and then I'll practice my putting at home and then my chipping also at home and I think that I could get my golf game good maybe I don't know I am at the driving range right now and can someone tell me why it is packed they don't have heaters on every day and they literally don't have a heater and I can see my breath I'm still out here I've got an extra large bucket that I fully intend to hit but I'm just like why is it so busy